welcome to a random video uh so i've been thinking i want to make some madden content but the problem is there's nothing to do on this game so i decided to go to the last resort of every content creator and i went of course the franchise and i decided let's rebuild the lines i mean how bad can they be so this is the starting team here scared to even show this you know we have matthew stafford you know yeah we haven't we're not gonna do that stupid trade all right we have matthew stafford and then we have deandre swift and kenny galladay and marvin jones and <sighs> tj hawkinson and you know that line you know that nobody knows but it's actually not that bad you know and then this is the defense you know, mainly held up by desmond trufant and trey flowers um, yeah, so yeah, we have a lot. To, we have a lot to do, and I mean a lot. Like who is Agnew? Is Jamal Agnew. He's number thirty-nine. He's. I know. I understand. I played this game like eight years in a row, man. All right, but yeah. Anyways, of course, let me show you guys our sexy coach, Fred Dingledorf. He's gonna be there for the NBA rebuild that we do later. So. Just get used to him being around. We were at the bottom of the conference last year at 5-11. and 11. I don't want to talk about it. But let's hop into the offseason and I guess see who wins the Super Bowl. Do we know? Okay. You, you know what? KC wins too much. Do you ever think about that? This game loves KC. All right. Oh, yeah. We need to sign back our two great receivers. And... Ooh, he's pretty speedy. I need him. You know, I feel... I think... Hold on. Oof. Oof. I'm thinking... Mm, I don't know, man. I'm thinking about this. Here, we get Kenny Galladay. We let Marvin Jones go because we have Jamal Agnew. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Just sign back. Okay, he's gonna test out free agency. Fuck you. No, you're not. Your franchise tagged. <laughs> Literally thought he was gonna leave us. No, it's not that easy. Home slice. And then Jamal Agnew, we're changing your number if you sign back. <laughs> you wanna get franchise tagged too? Okay, never mind. I can't even. So that means we have to sign back Marvin Jones because then we don't have any. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna have to. Yeah, it's gonna be a st come start from the bottom moment. So we're just gonna let the rest of them go because I want my cap space. I don't want to even look at the 2020 season recap because I'm gonna be scared. So f sign free agents. We have 28 million in cap space, but <clears throat> yeah, we have two point negative two point eight two million in available funds. So <sighs> don't want to talk about it. But, hold up, DeAndre Swift is, like, one of those underrated guys, but Will Fuller, I don't know, but I'm just saying, Will Fuller in these simulations, man, like, randomly pops out, and, like, he's just good, like, nobody knows where it comes from, but he's just good. Do we sign Chris Carson as a power back? Let's look at his ratings. 88 speed, oh, I don't, yeah, I'm not the fastest guy. It's not the best power back either. God. Melvin Ingram. No, we have Trey Flowers. JC Jackson, much needed. We were going to try to try to get him. Salary, we're going to up his bonus a little bit. But we're behind the Jets still on JC Jackson, though. That's the problem. Let me just 8.5 and then 450. Now we're above the Jets. Gronk with TJ Hawkinson would be deadly, but we need a free safety. <laughs> oh, hey, just if we when we face the Vikings, you better not get jumped over again because that, that, that one is pretty sad. I 
that's a lie. That's a lie. They're lying. Um, you know, you know what? Let's just simulate through this first week of free agency and just see where everybody went. Accepted. Oh, JC, we got JC Jackson and Will Fuller. That's great. That is beautiful. But now we only have four point one one million. <laughs> I really want, I'm really trying to buy into him, but I don't know, man. It's not letting us. Hold up. Alright. Alright. Looks like we're just not going to have a free safety. Or, look, watch this. You know what you guys got to do? Download from community files. You guys also then. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just not move out the way. I know, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. All right, so we're not gonna we're not gonna use the actual ones, I guess. But I'll just come back when we're done. All right, we're back, and as you can see, we somehow broke even on our points. I don't want to talk about it. Um. Yeah, we're just not going to make that many free agency moves. We're, we're going to go to the draft and just see where we land. Like, we're going to we're gonna check everything. Do we even have a first-round pick? Now that I think about it, do we even have a... Please, Lord, tell me we have a first-round pick. It would freaking be a pain to not have a first-round pick right now. Um... Okay, yeah, we have the seventh pick in the first round. All right, can we trade our second round? Oh, that's risky, though. But we can get who we want. Then second round for anybody's first round. Seventeen. That's not a. That's not a bad. Okay. The Raiders aren't interested. All right. Hmm. The football team. Come on now. Y'all are the football team. Who cares about your draft pick, anyways? Okay, how about this? Hear me out. Uh, hmm. What do you guys want? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, because look. Look, look. look at this. You know who does need? Quarterback. Jets. Look at this. Look look at this big fucking brain we have here. Yeah, they are interested in Matthew Stafford. Who isn't interested in Matthew Stafford? Oh, and they need a fullback? I'll give you the I'll give you this guy because I don't know who he is. Okay, you know what? We're moving into the Jaguars. Forty ers please don't be a headache. Please don't be a headache. Forty ers where are you guys at? <sighs> Niners, please. F what do you mean they have the twelve? Who has a third then? Packers. Who has a third one, bro? It's gonna be the longest video that you've ever watched. Just trust me. Who has the third pick in the 2021 NFL Draft? Come on now. Like, who has it, bro? The Dolphins. I know y'all traded and sacrificed. You know what, freak you guys, too? I was just trying to be nice. I was trying to... I'm a, I might cut that out from the video. Like, that was embarrassing. Let's just start our draft. Get the Jaguars off of the clock and give me the clock. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 that's not it. No, nobody, please, nobody send me that video. What was that? What I just said, nobody send me that, please. Honestly, this dude, strongest quarterback, not the fastest guy, but I feel like we can kind of mold him there. 72 
Oh boy, yeah, yeah, we, we already messed up. I could have grabbed our franchise wide receiver and I just, just blew it. Okay, who do we, please tell me that receiver's still on the board. Okay, okay. But look. You guys wanna see something? Look at this. This guy's all the way back here. He's a first round talent. But nobody knows. His, he is ranked fifth, and we drafted him at 41. That's a steal. A steal. Do you not know what a steal is? Like, imagine I go into your mama's house and it's like, run me your money. Like, that's a steal, bro. Dingledorf is not the worst at this. Okay. However, Lord, please save me. Oh, Luke Wright? Oh, we're too goaded at this, bro. We're actually getting some solid draft picks, and this is not scary at all. Oh, boy. <laughs> hmm. You know, you know what I could use here, though, honestly? right guard but look none of them are like they're all undrafted right but like this one's red i don't know what the difference is like i don't know bro i don't even know what i need anymore is that strong safety still up mm, mm, mm. andrew douglas first and bench press okay I feel stupid for this. And don't worry, I'm gonna make this like a two part series. This is gonna be the off season and then we're gonna add the freaking whatchamacallit in the freaking actual season. Okay. Pick number five. I mean pick nine, round five. This guy's still up. I I'm kinda scared about this because he's still up. But hold up. I think we need, yeah, we need, like, a corner. We only have three active, but, hold up. I don't know, man. He only has a B catching, and he's one of the slowest receivers in the draft. Yeah, I'm good. This guy, though. What is this guy? Oh, fourth and wide receivers for 40 yard? What about him? Okay, yeah, he's definitely not even on the list. Lance Luckett, but we kind of do need outside linebacker, and he's kind of fast. Th that's valid. Not even gonna get mad about that. Um, let's go to the next user pick because you know that's kind of me. Uh, please, Lord, please tell me that we can steal something. I don't know, man. I might honestly just draft a kicker because look at this. He has A-plus power, C accuracy. Like, where could we go wrong drafting a kicker here? Look at him. He has F awareness, though. That's probably going to be a big problem. Yeah, it's going to be a big problem. But I trust his leg, not his mind. We only drafted it. We have no picks remaining. Oh. Yay. That made me feel like 80 times better. As Chiefs dropped the Mr. Irrelevant. Honestly, that wasn't even a bad draft. That brought our teams overall up to a 78, if that's not what it was already. Um, <laughs> draft recap. A few contract deals. Yes, so. First round, we got a quarterback. I mean, he was kind of a bust. He has 74 speed. No cap. He's, yeah, he's looking like a bust. But... That doesn't stop us from trying to make him great, okay? And then we have Felix Gubber, the brother of the Lions legend, of course. And look, he plays the same position as his little brother, you know? All right, and then we drafted Luke Wright with 91 speed, though. That, that's kind of surprising. And then Andrew Douglas, of course, his great grandpa, none other than Frederick Douglas. We all know this. Um, 
and then Greg Miner. I'm not gonna talk about his last name because I'll probably get me booted off of YouTube. Um, and then we drafted PJ Ramsey as our last pick from Clemson. I mean, like, I want to see his stat. I didn't even look at his stats. I didn't get a chance. Um, he has. Um, yeah, we're getting there. Don't worry. <sighs> Kick accuracy is 67, so they lied to me about that. And, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't dummy's kick power. But, yeah. If we can, I just feel like if we can upgrade these guys a little bit in the preseason, we'll be all right. Plus, if we look at our team right now, hold on, let me see what kind of changes we need to make at the moment. So, Stafford, we're going to try to trade him to a team in need. We're going to keep Fulton, though. I want him to be our franchise guy. Will Fuller. That, that's, that, I don't know. I want him to start over Galladay, though. Because, look, Will Fuller always does great in these simulations. TJ Hawkinson, and then, yeah, I don't want to talk about the second one. But DeAndre Swift and Kenyon Johnson. I don't know. Dingledorf's team is looking dingle great. Wait, that was, no, that wasn't even going to good. I don't want to talk about it. All right. JC Jackson, let's fix your abilities right quick. Actually, you know what? I like you with that. But we're going to give you acrobatic, too, because I want you to be acrobatic out there. And then Jeff Akuda. Whatever happened, I just thought of whatever happened to this man. Like, he got drafted and, like, despawned or something. He had some voodoo magic spell and left the league. And. I don't know, man. I, I don't want a kicker without a picture. So we're just going to bring the kicker with the picture on. Um, Hopefully it does something. How fast is uh, Dylan Mitchell? 90 speed. All right, that'll be decent. I kick her turn. Yeah, I mean, everything's looking okay, and it's looking decent here. So, I'm going to drag us through the preseason, and we'll see where we are from there, and then I'll end the video. But I don't know, man. Uh, this team isn't looking too bad. Let's, well, first things first. Nope, can't until the second week of the off season. <sighs> Don't want to talk about it. Okay, so Trade Center is now open. And you know who I want to put on the trade block? I'm going to put up, yeah, look, because all these guys are dirt, right? I'm going to just put up Matthew Stafford. And whoever buys into it, buys into it. And hopefully we'll get that before then this preseason. Because I'm not trying to have them on the trade block all season. That'd suck. Uh, add the trade block. Let's Yeah, let's do that. All right. So, of course, we're, we're probably going to lose this. Oh, we won 17 10, and there's an injury on the first week. See, he knew where he was supposed to be. He knew he was going to be sitting out no matter what. He should be glad I didn't change him out the first week. All right. So, Chris Peace and Austin Bryant. You guys are probably going to be preseason cut, but you'll be strength out in, right? All right, so against the football team, their own one. In the preseason because that means a lot we we smacked them we shellacked them 37 20 oh carry on i'm slow i thought it was kenyan <sighs> i don't want to talk about it y'all they're just gonna keep letting the cpu do, develop these guys because i don't want to like mold them the only thing the only person i'm gonna mold are my receivers and my quarterback because obvious reasons kind of franchise guys all right, so trade center. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no, no, that's not that's not how you see uh, your trade block guy. So trade offers on Matthew Stafford. Let's review these offers before we just straight up decline. Fourth, fifth, and seventh, and then Jacksonville didn't even try. They just said, "Here, take it." Matthew Stafford ain't even that old. Nah, both y'all are getting... No, because y'all didn't even try. If y'all would have put a little more effort into those trades... Here, I'm just going to keep them on the board because I, I really want Matthew Stafford gone. But, like, I'm not going to force it and send him somewhere where he's not supposed to be. And we slacked the Bears, too. What's happening, bro? Are, is this is this the start of our Super Bowl run? Maybe. <laughs> But this is just preseason, so everybody's. And we have another injury. Oh, this makes me feel. Jamie, Jamie, Cole. fuck. All right, he'll be back in week two, but still, we have to face the Seahawks in week one. So yeah, the Packers though. The Packers. You think we can chill hack them in the preseason too? And okay, still the same offers. I was just, I was just being cautious because look. Whatever happens here is how we're going to end the video as we lose by seven. And Nick Abaddon is returning. Stafford. Okay, the football team added. They wanted to join the war just a little bit. All right. But this is where I'm going to end the video. And part two should be up not too long from when this is posted. So... Don't hate me. Love y'all. Uh, I mean, hey. Just just be ready for this next one. Because I'm telling you, I'm not ending that video until we win a Super Bowl.